How are we all doing? I hope you're keeping well. So, first off, an important announcement for the channel, and another first. Tomorrow night, Saturday, at half nine, I intend to do a live stream. Now, I'm not going to do a repair or whatever, I'm just going to be sitting here, uh, having a drink, and it'll be all very relaxed. You'll be able to see me on the phone, on the camera. I'll have my laptop here, so I'll be able to see your comments coming in and respond to them. And uh, you can ask me a few questions. I don't know what to do. I really don't. Um, but we can just have a general chat about the vintage electronics hobby or whatever, you know. And um, maybe some of you would like to relay some stories you have in the chat section. Um, and I'll try and think of some stories that I have. And it should be a bit of fun. Drink a few cans or whatever you like. Uh, get a few snack items in. And I don't know how long it's going to be or whatever. If it's crap, five minutes. If it's not, it could go on for another a while. I don't know. It's a whole uncharted territory for me. I know a few people do it and whatever. But they're very, very good at it. Um, they generally do a, like a repair thing or whatever. I'm not going to get into that. I'm not clever enough to do repairs live. To be honest with you. But it's just something to try. It might be a bit of fun. And um, hopefully you can make it. So that's tomorrow night. Uh, half nine. Having said all of that. I'm getting back to reality and down to earth once more. I have here the television. I haven't done a television in a while. I'm hoping this will work. My friend who I tell you about. My mysterious friend. I'm not allowed to my name. I get these things from time to time from the house clearances um, that are all going in the bin because these houses must be cleared out quickly. Found this. It's an Indeset 801. And it's actually in, while it's dirty, it's actually in decent enough fettle. And these odd looking Italian televisions and what are European -y types, they're, they're starting to fetch a couple of quid actually. Um, you know, people collect all these weird shaped televisions. There's an auto vox one that comes up like that, like a tulip or whatever, and all different odd shapes. To be honest with you, they don't do a whole lot for me. I think a television should be a square wooden box. But, um, anyway, although th this sort of is kind of fetching, so we're gonna see if we can get it going. It's being wet, so it's being drying out. And it should be well dried out now. I had it in front of the old blow heater for a few hours today. So she should be well dried out. It did get a bit of the rain. And storage conditions may not have been optimal either. For the longevity of vintage television. However, having said all of that. We're going to see if we can get it going. Um, or die trying. So I'll bring the camera in. And we'll start fluting around with it. So what else would you be down on a Friday night? Well, I was gonna go down to the pub, you know, and get a big feed of drink, but I think there's a dose of flu or something going around the pub's closed. So, we will just have to party on at home. So, it's we're saving a fortune here. Alright, so little in the set, controls are on the top. A few of these little mono portables are a similar setup. What I should have done before I started the video, I should have went online and seen if there was any service information or anything like that. Or... So I don't know what year it is or anything to tell you. I, I'm going to say it's early 70s though. Nice and slim line, so it obviously has the uh, 110 degree little mono tube in them. Nice plastic, it is plastic, I feel it's plastic, chromed handle, um, with in the set in big letters. VHF aerials are intact, which is rare. That's nice. No sign of a UHF area, but I think it was just a wire loop that slotted into the two pegs here. And on the back, all we have is in the set. Model T12, 12 inch, Sir Matter something, um, 801, made in Italy with pride. Um, and a very unusual connection. 
which we do not have. And frame hold and frame linearity. And frame amplitude. So tight. Right, we'll get the back off. Because the what I want to do is I want to feed some... Uh, I'm going to try and power it up in 12 volts. But I don't know which it is is which. So whip the back off. I'll be able to have a look and see where we're going. Okay. I've been a bit bold. And I've cheated. Alright. So I'll put my hand out and you can give me a slap. I got the back off and I was looking. You can see the DC connections. Then I looked at the AC pins and where they are on the socket. And I discovered that ye old figure of eight bands laid uh, can be improvised to fit. Um, so it's up and it's running on the mains. Which is handy because I don't know what the chances are of me finding one of those sockets uh, and a plug to fit the socket. So we're going to see if we can tune in a test card here. We can see she's vertically uh, challenged a little bit. We'll see if we can tune something in. Come on, you can do it. And there we are. Right, we need to find the line hold control. Okay, after a bit of fluting around, I found the line hold control. And I wasn't too far out. Now. Come on. Hmm. Getting off a strobe in there, and I don't usually get that on my videos, funny enough. I'm turn off the bench light, I'll get rid of it. Sometimes you can get rid of the strobe by turning off different lights, it'll stop doing that, you know. Mm, not today, though. There we go. You might not strobe at the workshop. I will. Come on. Yeah, it's not playing ball tonight. Here we go now. Now we can see she's all there. Uh, couldn't fuddle the line in her ears way out. Um, we're after making some progress anyway so I'm going to leave it at that we might have a quick look at this tomorrow night and um, I'm going to turn it off for now um, yeah we might have a quick look at this tonight, tomorrow night and if anyone wants to look up the service information and give me a clue as to why the line line already is out and we'll have a squint at it tomorrow night. Yeah, we can do that. Alright, I'll leave it at that for now. I'm going to leave you and love you and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm looking forward to tomorrow night. Uh, even if I am a little bit, what's the word, apprehensive, I don't know. But uh, it's something new and it should be a bit of crack either way. Right, take care everyone. Have a good Friday night. Good luck.